Do you feel that? Oh, that's code, it's smelling. Smelly code. Smelly code. What are they feeding you? Coding is fun, but smelly code? Not so much. Trust me, I've been there spending hours debugging or factoring spaghetti code that felt like wrestling a wild octopus. Here's how you can spot some sneaky code smells early and how to clean them up with examples. Duplicated code. Ever had this review reading your own code? When your code repeats, maintenance becomes a nightmare, fix one thing, and suddenly you're chasing your tail across multiple files. Yikes! Refactor duplicate logic into reusable functions or methods. Your future self will thank you. Too large class. Ever met a class trying to play God? It knows everything, does everything, and nobody else understands it. Split responsibilities clearly. Obeying the single responsibility principle make your classes humble again. Law methods. If your methods cross longer than a Twitter argument, it's too long. Trust me, I've fallen asleep scrolling through my own code before. Extract chunks of logic into smaller focused functions. Keep it short and sweet. Inconsistent naming. Confusing names equal chaos. Clear names make your teammates smile and might earn your coffee from grateful colleagues. Keep it descriptive and consistent across your code base. Naming things clearly isn't easy, but it's worth the effort. Poor or missing documentation. Complex logic without docs? Developers might spend days decoding a method that should have taken 5 minutes. Don't be them. Comment the why, not just how. Future you and your coworkers will be forever grateful. A long parameter list. Too many parameters? It's a clue your function's juggling too much. I've been guilty of creating functions with parameters longer than a grocery list. Lesson learned. Group related parameters into meaningful structs. It simplifies life immensely. Data clumps. Same parameters appearing everywhere? Wrap them up before they come your personal nightmare. Objects are your best friends here. Embrace them. Future Envy Ever had a class obsessed with another's data like a noisy neighbor? Time to set some boundaries. Move methods closer to the data they interact with most. Healthy boundaries in code are just as important as in life. Primitive Obsession Stop using basic types for complex ideas. Many developers fall into the trap of using strings for everything. Dates, IDs, even in arms. And trust me, it hurt later. Small structs or types can dramatically increase clarity and ease debugging sessions. Shotgun surgery. One change requiring edits everywhere feels like performing surgery with a shotgun. Messy, risky, and just plain wrong. Refactor code into clear, isolated modules for easy updates. Magic numbers. Ever seen numbers floating around your code like mythical creatures? They seem innocent until you forget why they are there. Listen, decoding numeric puzzles isn't fun at 2 a.m. Just replace magic numbers with clearly named constants. That code. Keeping code around just in case is like hoarding stuff in your garage. Eventually, you won't even remember why it's there. Cleaning up feels so liberating. Regularly prune unused code to avoid confusion and clutter. Arrowhead code. If your conditionals are nested deeper than your ambitions, you've got arrowhead code. Believe me, navigating deep logic is no fun without a roadmap. Return early when something's wrong to avoid deep nesting. Speculative generality Code designed for scenarios that never come up is code that gets in the way. People are building future-proof features no one asked for, and guess what? They never got used. Code only what you need today. Avoid adding functionality for the future. Comment overload. Comments are great as we discussed previously, until your code turns into a novel. Ever read code comments longer than the function itself? It's like subtitles for a silent movie nobody asked for. Make comments short and meaningful. Trust clear code to speak itself. Code smells are in bugs, but they are red flags. They tell you, hey, this might be working now, but good luck fixing it later. That's a problem for future Homer. The more you learn to spot and clean these smells, the more your code turns from messy mystery to elegant clarity. 
So what can you take away from all of this? Keep it clean, small focused functions and clear names are your best friends. Be kind to future you, document the why, not just the what. Don't overcomplicate, simplicity beats cleverness every time. Refactor often, good code doesn't start perfect, it becomes great through iteration. And most of all, trust your nose. If something feels off, it probably is. Writing clean code isn't about being fancy, it's about making your life easier and your team happier. Clean code gives your clarity, confidence and more time to build cool stuff, instead of playing detective. So next time your code starts to smell, light a candle, take a breath and refactor like a pro. Share this video with your smelling code writers friends. Like, subscribe and stay in tech.